Hi, this is Ryan Dawes, editor of AI News, and today we have the Huawei Mate 20 Pro with us. So, aside from being a very nice, slick device with some high-end specs, it also has some very, very powerful AI capabilities. So, we will be checking out a few of those now and giving our thoughts. The first thing we're going to try here is the object recognition. So in theory, when we point out this, yep, there we go, it should come up with the calories and nutritional information for the food. So this has come up with a few issues in the past. So it's got both of these correct so far. Now, if we try these carrot sticks here, there we go. So that one, it thinks it's an egg roll. So it's not as perfect as Huawei's demo made out to be so far. Next up, we'll try the automatic translation feature. So this works very much similar to like Google Lens or something like that. So as you can see, it's like most translations, not exactly one-to-one, -one, but you can work out what it's trying to say at least. Now we'll try the shopping feature. So Huawei has partnered with over 200 different retailers to come up with different results and as you can see here this worked first time brought up the exact item and where I can buy it from. I've headed down to my local park to try out the AI colour video feature and this is really quite impressive if it's working properly then I should be all in colour and my background entirely in black and white. To do this takes a lot of processing power and really shows off the extra grunt that Huawei's managed with their NPU in this in this year's model. I have noticed a couple of things with it. It does make the subject run a lot more red than usual. I do tend to run a bit on the red side anyway, but this just kind of emphasizes that even more. I've also found that it's really not suited for indoor use, which is why I've gone down to the park. You will find that it's probably too dark to actually make any use of indoors. So overall, we're really impressed with the Mate 20 Pro. It's a big leap over its predecessors, which we also covered, and it expands the AR capabilities beyond just photography. Now there are a couple of things that we missed in the review just because they're difficult to show in a review. The first off is the AI satellite selection. So this is supposed to improve accuracy of GPS by about 10 times. Now Huawei did their own demo of this and they strapped up a runner with various flagship smartphones from the likes of Samsung and Apple and sent a runner on a, on a run. Now anyone who has done this will know that sometimes you can get quite wonky results on a smartphone GPS. Now Huawei of course in our video showed a lot more spot on uh, route up to what the route runner actually did. The other um, major thing is the AI automatic video trimming. Now this is supposed to be able to cut out or include certain people uh, from video clips just by pressing on their face. Now this would be great for things such as kids parties where maybe you want to include more of your kids and their maybe close friends rather than every other little terror running around. So that is the Huawei Mate 20 Pro. Thanks for watching this video and head over to our website at AI News for more and until next time, thanks for watching.